What's going on everyone? This is Eric with the mtgnoob.com bringing you a follow-up video to the Gen Midrange deck tech and the uh, two standard dailies that uh, I recently published uh, on the channel. Um, I just wanted to give a quick overview of kind of what I thought of the deck after playing it. Um, I was able to play some additional games that I didn't record and uh, how those went and what I think of the deck overall. So I think I played a total of about 12 matches with the deck and really only lost twice. And that was to the um, aggro deck, the black, white, green aggro deck that I was playing Immortal Servitude just because he was able to load his graveyard real quick, cast Immortal Servitude for three, and flush everything out. And I just didn't have a, a board wipe in Museum Mortars or Bonfire. So. That was really the only reason why I lost both of those games. Uh, in the playthrough video that's up on the channel, uh, I do dispatch him twice, if I recall correctly. So, um, you know, 50% of the time I was going to lose that deck, but I'm sure if I played out more and more, um, it would have been in my favor. So, um, I did play a few more control decks. Uh, I did play a Bant Control and another Esper Control and was able to deal with them pretty handedly. I uh, didn't really have too many issues um like i did with uh the first actually the only game that i played against uh the esper control that i have uploaded so i do think in the in the control matchup uh bringing in like the slaughter games the duress and the appetite for brain certainly helped out um in some of the games where i played bant and esper again i was able to get rid of um supreme verdict and terminus which would have thwarted me uh, in my tracks, but uh, I was able to get rid of it. So good sideboarding there. Uh, I do think the sideboard, the way it is right now, the three death rate, one vampire nighthawk, two appetite for brains, two duress, four pillar, and three slaughter games will probably stay uh, that way for the time being at least. Um, death rate shaman and slaughter games were really big for me uh, in the human reanimator matchup that I played on here. And, uh, he couldn't do anything. I locked down his graveyard. He tried to target Glory of Angels Rise a few times. Now, I was able to exile with Deathrite Shaman before I finally drew into Slaughter Games and got rid of the card for good. So, um, I really like how the deck shaped up to be. Um, the one thing I did change was in my land. I took out two Rootbound Craig and I actually added two Stomping Grounds. There were too many times where I was drawing and I found myself with only dual lands at hand. So... I wanted to increase the ratio of shock lands to dual lands um, with having the Thrag Tusk and the Huntmaster and with the amount of creature removal I have, I'm not all that concerned with taking a few damage here and there for playing shocks untapped. Uh, you know, if I happen to have a far seek in hand, that's when I might play them untapped, but um, I think it's okay the way it is, you know, if I happen to go to another open or whenever I test uh, this deck out at uh, FNM or, you know, some other standard tournament randomly during the week and I find myself to be taking too much damage, I'll probably just go ahead and flop that back to four root bound crag and uh, no stomping grounds anymore. But besides that, I really like how Victim of Night uh, was able to get there a bunch of times for me. Even Abrupt Decay was really great a few times as well. Um, so those numbers might change in the future. If they change drastically, I'll make sure I do another deck tech, uh, kind of indicating the changes I've made, but I'm pretty sure for the time being it's going to stay, uh, the way it is. Um, I can't remember if in my original deck tech I had Thundermaw Hellkite, but I do have two Thundermaw Hellkite now. I wanted an additional bomb, and, uh, I was actually going between that and Lotless Troll, just as this is an early drop, but, uh, I stumbled on Thund Thundermaw, it just, it gets there, and as much as I do love Lot with Troll, uh, it just doesn't have a place in this deck, at least right now, so, um, yeah, the, that was all I really wanted to talk about, guys, I just wanted to give a quick rehash on what I thought, uh, this will definitely be my deck moving forward, um, I just need to pick up a few things, uh, to finish out the deck, obviously there are the more expensive cards, the Thundermaws, the Lilianas, um, and I'll be able to start running this, uh, and my weekly tournaments uh, around me in, in Northern Virginia. So uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching the videos if you have. If you haven't, make sure to go check those out. Uh, they're a pretty good time. Uh, but this is Eric with the MTGNoob.com. Uh, I will not be putting out any videos next week, the, uh, the week of the 18th, as I will be on vacation. 
Um, so Chris and the guys will be putting up something on Thursday. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you like all of our videos, subscribe to the channel, and be on the lookout for future videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around the channel.